Hi guys, it is a gloomy, cloudy day here in the end times, in the former paradise, South Austin, Texas, where I'm back in the local junkyard. Anyway, on this gloomy Wednesday morning, May 3rd, 2017, and I need to uh, get into my weekly climate change meltdown roundup rant. But before I do, as I've mentioned, uh, my my buddy, my Alert Tribes member, Treebeard, Treebeard uh, is up there in the Great White North uh, as the support team. He's not a climatologist. He's hanging out with a bunch of scientists up there uh, somewhere in the Arctic. Somewhere in the Arctic uh, as they study the sp runaway spring melt, the melting permafrost and all of this crap going on up there as this planet descends into a burning lake of fire. And so Treebeard had to sign a two-year gag order that he was not allowed to discuss anything that he heard or saw up there. So he has gone somewhat underground, but at great risk to his own, uh, at least, job, if not financial safety, he has agreed to smuggle out some uh, information from the great white, well, once white north and so I make so each Wednesday morning I'm gonna make this an, a uh, an adjunct video a sidebar to my climate change meltdown roundup rant we have a, sh a very short report uh, from tree from tree beard this week but uh, it's a particularly disturbing one or a particularly no shit Sherlock one uh, which is one and the same thing, because anytime you hear a disturbing report, you usually hit the no shit Sherlock button, which I don't have with me here in the junkyard. So first let's read the note from Treebeard. <clears throat> hey Hambone, just a quick little note, I'll send the full one next Tuesday. Have you heard of something called the Planetary Boundaries Report. Well, actually I have, and I've done a few rants on it, but uh, it bears repeating. Have you heard of something called the Planetary Boundaries Report? No, me either, not until yesterday. I had to look it up. Uh, I'm at a new location, more on that later. I saw some people that did not quite fit in. Monster trucks get by. I saw some people that did not quite fit in. Smelled like government to me. I happened to walk by and saw this report labeled Planetary Boundaries with handwritten words like, quote, crossed all nine question mark, quote, survival probabilities, quote, life support systems compromised, sticking out of this woman's briefcase. When she saw, now you understand that, uh, that tree beard, I don't know exactly what his job is. He, he's there to support you know, is some, I don't know if he's a kitchen worker or, something. anyway, he's one of the Sherpa guides, okay, for these, for these scientists working up there in the Arctic. <clears throat> when she saw me gawking at, the, at this report, she gave me shit and told me to focus on my duties and not to be nosy. I happened to hear snippets of their conversation as well. It was not until I read about this report that these fragments and these people and what they are secretly doing made more sense. I think the powers that be are updating this report 
for certain eyes only, we may be in more trouble than we know. Tell me what you think regards Treebeard. My response to Treebeard was, I think you may have a target on your head by now. Be careful up there. I also think the woman is right, that we have indeed crossed all nine planetary boundaries and we are indeed in more trouble than we know. Keep up the good fight, but keep your ass out of the firing line. So, uh, uh, Treebeard sent me a link to the this excellent Wikipedia uh, entry on planetary boundaries. Uh, and I'm going to put the link to here. Anybody uh, who wants to understand planetary boundaries, this is one of the, the single best Wikipedia uh, entries I have ever stumbled upon in, in six years of being a doomsday prophet. So I'm going to put the entire link. I'm just going to read the first couple of paragraphs uh, to give you an idea what the hell Treebeard is, is talking about here. Planetary boundaries is the central concept in an Earth systems framework proposed by a group of Earth system and environmental scientists. Uh, led by blah blah the, the names of these different scientists whose names may or may not mean anything to you. Anyway, in 2009, this group of scientists proposed a framework of planetary boundaries des designed to define a quote safe operating space for humanity for the international community, including governments at all levels, international organizations, civil society, the scientific community, and the private sector as a precondition for sustainable development. And I'm not going to launch into a rant about this unadulterated horseshit UN Sustainable Development Goals. This unadulterated horseshit. But you, you better be goddamn sure that this has the UN's uh, fingerprints all over this. This framework is based on scientific research that indicates that since the Industrial Revolution, human actions have gradually, well I would say rapidly, become the main driver of global environmental change. The scientists assert that once human activity has passed certain thresholds or tipping points defined as the planetary boundaries, there is a risk of, quote, irreversible and abrupt environmental change. The scientists identified nine Earth system processes which have boundaries that to the extent that they are not crossed mark the safe zone of the planet. However, because of human activity, some of these dangerous boundaries have already been crossed, while others are in imminent danger of being crossed. Am I in imminent danger of being run over? So, uh, looks like I'm in imminent danger of being run over. I did not realize that uh, truck was just parked there. Anyway, that brings me to the end of, uh, at least I lived through it, uh, that brings me to the end of 
Treebeard's report from the former now melting Great White North, and I will be back next Wednesday with a fuller report, assuming uh, Treebeard is not in the gulag. But with that, I will come back with you in one minute with my uh, with my climate change meltdown roundup rant as long as we're on the subject of planetary boundaries that have been crossed as we are so fucked. Bye guys.